Happy New Year, everybody! It is Thursday the 4th of January and it's the first show of the year. Now, I have some changes that I need to take, uh, go through, but we'll uh, do that later on in the show. Um, how, is, how is everybody? Uh, I should say I'm Debbie Moore and welcome to my Craft and Share show. We do this every Thursday and this is the first one of the year and I've just been told I'm talking too fast. Uh, let's have a look. I've got Tina. Oh, Tina's loving the graphics. Yep, Deb's been busy with that, Tina. Hi, Harry. I've got Marilyn. I've got Jane. Pauline has joined us over in the States. I've got Carol, Christine, Shadia over from Canada. Wow, loads of you already on. Um, I can see that there's people over on YouTube, but there's no messages yet. So let me, somebody post a message to make sure that it's working okay. Did everybody have a lovely Christmas? Did everybody have a lovely New Year? Um, I've got Edna joined us. I've got Lois. I've got Belinda. I've got Anna saying good evening, Debbie, Dave, and my crafting family. A very happy, healthy New Year to you all. Looking forward to another year of Debbie Moore, of Debbie goodness. Oh, bless you, Anna. I have to tell you that I might lose my voice by the end of the day, uh, or should say the end of the show. Dave is very happy. <laughs> Look. I think I've caught a little chill, um, and it's only just started this afternoon. Um, as most of you are aware, Dave and I have bought a chateau in France, and we're doing it up. And yesterday... Uh, we gave loads of things to a local brocant that sells um, what Dave calls knickknacks uh, to raise funds for an animal charity slash sanctuary. So uh, we were helping carrying them up and I had loads of layers on and I got really warm and I took all my layers off, continued to do it, but Dave thinks I might have caught a chill in between. Um, but Fingers crossed I don't lose my voice because I'm actually going to be coming to the UK tomorrow because I'm on Sewing Street on Sunday. Bella and I are on Sewing Street and also Hobby Maker TV, so it's a very long weekend. Oh, thank you. I've got Herb just saying hi, Happy New Year. I've also got Mary, sorry, Mary from Mississippi. I've got Deborah saying hi, Eileen. So it's been an unhealthy one so far as I've had flu for the last 10 days. Oh, Eileen, I can sympathise with you. I keep having to swallow. I've got water here. Dale's getting me a hot drink as well. Isn't the trick... What's the saying? Is it starve a fever, feed a cold? Or is it the other way around? I never know. But honestly, Eileen, I hope you get well very, very soon. I've got Dulcie joined us as well. I've got Sylvia. I've got Liz. Uh, and I have got Carol, Anne, uh, Maxine, Marion, Sandra. Oh, loads of you. Thank you. Pauline says, hi, Debbie and Dave and all you crafters. Another year begins. Finally stopped raining in Wigan. Well, it finally stopped raining here over in France as well because it's been raising, raining quite a few days. Uh, I have got loads of messages coming through saying Happy New Year to everybody. I've got Angela saying hi, Marianne. I've got Linda. I've got Lucille uh, from Paris saying Happy New Year, everybody. Bonne année à toutes les modes. Happiness and health. Bon hier et sant. I don't know if that's right. I'm sorry. Uh, Lucille, I'm just learning French. I learned a new word, uh, desecherie, which I think means tip. <laughs> and the other one is je suis désolé, which means I am sorry. Because then I'm going to say parlez-vous anglais, s'il vous plaît, <laughs> which means do you speak English, please? <laughs> so um, I hope I pronounced that right. But I'm learning, you know, every day is a school day. I love that, don't you? You can learn. It doesn't matter how old you are. Every day you can learn something new. Uh, so Dave and I are trying to learn new phrases or words every day. I've got Iris joined us. I've got Sally, Wendy. Uh, Carmen says, hi, Debbie and Dave and Craft and Family. Happy New Year. On the 24th, doing your morning live, I ordered two downloads, which the invoice I never received. Which the invoice I never received. Thanks. Oh, Carmen, I thought you got it. Okay. I will, Jessica's not in tomorrow, but I will try to look into it tomorrow 
and uh, send you a message. We are behind. You have to appreciate it. The office has been closed since I think it's the 21st of December. So they got back on the 2nd, which was Tuesday. Today is Thursday. So that is technically is only two days ago. Uh, so you can imagine we've had hundreds of messages and orders. So please be a little bit patient. We're going through them all. Even I'm taking turns as well. Uh, so I will we'll get to your queries and we'll get it dealt with. Right, so I'm just going to write this down, Carmen. 24th. Don't you worry, Carmen. We'll get you sorted. No problem. I've got Tara just joined us saying Happy New Year to everybody. I've got another Marianne and Kay has just said hello, everybody. Hugs and prayers to, for all who need them. That is for sure. Uh, I've got Teresa Rogers, Betty uh, saying Good evening, Debbie Dev and all the crafting family from a very, very, very rainy evening in Swanley, Kent. Uh, I've got Denise saying hi, uh, Susan, I've got Cheryl, oh, she's, Carmen's just put the 26th, okay, let me just get that sorted out, as in last week, okay, I will get that sorted out, I'll look into that for you, Carmen, don't worry, I've got Sharon saying hi, I've got Mary, I've got Vanessa uh, saying, good afternoon, family, I forgot to put my craft along project, no, you didn't, Vanessa, because it is not a craft along show i've swapped them because of what we've had to do because we're going back to the uk and everything like that and also a lot of my card samples will not get here till tuesday i've had to change them so vanessa you haven't missed anything nobody's missed out okay we're still going to have a fab show i've got some techniques and i've got some messages that i want to answer but you haven't actually oh here's my coffee look at that being creative is not a hobby it's a way of life and that is so true i'm going to be living that this year so going back to the craft along i hope you don't mind everybody i've just swapped it i've swapped it from today till next thursday uh i have got chris saying hi uh oh lucille says for your voice t time tea and honey oh lucille i've not tried that i'll have to go i have to try that Janet saying hi. I've got Sue. Jackie says, get better soon, dear Debbie. Happy New Year. So nice to see and hear you. Oh, Jackie, thank you. And thanks for any everybody. Um, I am okay. It's, it's my own fault, isn't it, really? I should have known better. Um, I've been here, I don't know how many days. Where are we? Just let's just say 20, okay? And then just by something silly... I catch a chill yesterday and it wasn't even freezing cold either it was just me being silly um i have got oh maxine says it's my 70th birthday on sunday <gasps> happy birthday maxine um i have got you're very quiet susan says oh can you not hear my mic should i move my mic is that better i put it on my cardigan i can move it can everybody hear me okay um, oh, Shadia says, by the way, Debbie, any news on Sarah Payne? Hoping all is well. Well, as a lot of you know, uh, Sarah Payne is one of my dear friends. And unfortunately, she uh, had a stroke. I think it's about seven weeks now. She's on a men, Shadia. She's taking baby steps. OK, I was in touch with her a couple of days ago. Uh, and she sends her love to everybody. And, you know, Sarah, she, you know... She's so impatient. She's, she's just like me. We're both impatient uh, crafters or her, hers more sewing and we just want to do it. But we take it. She's got to take a day at a time. Um, I've got Eva from Sweden wishing everybody a happy 2024. I have also got uh, Kathy saying hello from a very wet London. Um, and then I have got... Um, um, Teresa saying hi, love to see you all. I've got Pauline, Colleen, Jules. Wow, I've got Anne. Uh, and Maxine says it's tipping down in Essex. Uh, I have got, there's so much going round right now. Oh, Liz says there's so much going round right now. I know, Liz, but I think I caught the chill because I was silly. Do you know what? My, my grandfather used to always say to me, just be careful uh, when you... Uh, you know, especially when it's cold weather, I was literally, I had a jumper on and then I had a jacket on and obviously I had a t-shirt on and I was lugging all this um, brocante items and 
we were going down three flights of stairs because they were on the top floor. And as you can imagine, after 10 minutes, I got warm. And then we were doing that for at least half an hour to 40 minutes. So it was a very long day, or I should say a long up and down all the time with all these little gifts to go to the Brocomte. I have got, oh, Heba says she can hear me perfectly. And Tara's sending healing hugs to Sarah. Thank you for that. I've got Barbara says, oh, she says, you're right. Starve a fever and feed a cold. So does that mean I need to eat more? <laughs> Dave will be dead happy. I think I've got a cold. Well, I've got a chill. At the moment, it's my throat. I don't feel bad. It's just my throat at the moment. And Dave's very happy about that. So I've got cold water and I've got a hot coffee. I have got Wendy saying hi. Uh, and I have got, oh, Pauline's put, I'm learning prayers in Latin. Not as hard as I thought it would be. Pauline, that sounds really hard. But then again, is Latin, most countries are Latin based. Is that correct? I think. Um, Dave's only just come back, so he didn't hear me trying to speak French, which is very good. I've got Jeanette wishing everybody a new year and good evening to everybody from myself and Paula from DM Delights. I've got Heather, I've got Mary, Claire, Wendy, Rolf from Germany. Rolf, how do you say Happy New Year in German? I can say Guten Tag. I can say Ich bin Debbie Moore, but that's about it. I'm curious. Oh, uh, I've got Jacqueline saying hi. A lot of you saying that you can hear me okay. And Vanessa's so glad I didn't miss the craft along. I always enjoy crafting with Debbie. Well, I have got the demonstrations that I've got on tonight is a little hint and I'll be going through it. One of the techniques people have been asking for um, is doing a full card. So I'm going to show you how to do from start to finish and I'll talk to you about it later on. I've got Michelle says we have had cold here in, is that, I don't, I can't read what that says, FL? What does that mean? In Florida, Michelle? Or am I reading it wrong? Yeah. Coughs. Coughs. Oh, there we go. In FL, coughs and such, but no fever. And Heber says, drink plenty of water with fresh lemon and honey. It will help your throat. And also black currant is good for sore throats too. I'll have to try that, Heber. Thank you for that. Oh, Denise, bless you. Thank you for sending me some stars. They'll go towards our Facebook Lives and our demonstrations. I've got Beverly saying hi. Everybody saying the sounds fine. Thank you. And Judith says, expecting our first big storm, snowstorm on Sunday. So I plan to play making cards all day. Okay, well... Do me a favor, make sure you all take note of your discount code because tomorrow is our treasure hunt and uh, I'm giving everybody a super duper prezi to enjoy. Um, where am I? Where am I? I've got Pamela just joined us saying, hi everybody, been a while since I've been able to join you all. My first grandchild was born a few months ago and I've always have had her on a Thursday as she takes all my time. Oh, Pamela, congratulations and I'm glad that you're back. I have, oh, Michelle's confirmed it is Florida. I've got Janet just joined us from North Carolina. Uh, I've got <laughs> Valerie saying, hello here from a very soggy Devon. Sounds like it's raining everybody. I've got Dawn joined us. I've got Philip. Uh, Barbara says I need to have vitamin C. Oh, and Rolf has confirmed how you say Happy New Year in German. I don't know if I can pronounce this. So Rolf, I am so sorry. And anybody that speaks German, how my pr pronounce... <laughs> Perhaps, okay, so the word pronunciation is Gutes Nusis Ra. I don't know if that's right. But thank you for that, because I'll make a note of that. Uh, Dave will have to tell me whether I've said it right. He doesn't know either. Gutes Nois Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully that's something about right. So I can see, uh, obviously that was, we've had French, German, and... Um, and I think in Spanish is Feliz Año. Yes, I think that's right. Um, I've got Michelle joined us. Betty says, a bit late catching up, typing I had to do. You're not late. I'm just telling you, and we're just chatting. Everybody's just chatting. I've got Colin says, I learned Latin at school. Then in the third year, they stopped. I was so disappointed. Was told you would only need it if you were going to work as a, bot a botanist or a chemist. 
Well, Colleen, it's never too late. I think I changed my career six times. So don't worry, I'm not changing it again. I might divulge a little bit or not divulge, that's the wrong word. I might go off into a little bit more DIY than I normally do because obviously I'm having to do the chateau up, but I'll be sticking to craft, arts and crafts. Uh, Denise says, put a spoonful of honey in a cup of boiling water. It's magic for colds and sore throats. Oh, I need to do that. And Valerie says, fresh lemon juice and local honey. Well, I'll definitely be doing that. Kath has just joined us and saying, may 2024 be a year of hope, happiness, and lots of fab crafting to you all. Do you know what? That looks, that sounds really good. And Lucille said, I learned ancient Greek for seven years. My goodness me. Uh, I've got Victoria just joined us and Pauline says, Debbie, the trick is to keep your head and neck covered to starve off the cold, not so much your body. Amazon sells a hoodie shoulder cover. Only that works. Only that works great. Oh, Rolf said, I said the second one absolutely right. I can say hello in German now and happy new year. Um... But do you know what, everybody? As I'm learning French, I keep getting Spanish and French mixed up. So hopefully one day it won't happen. I've got Jill just joined us. Uh, Sally says, I'm starting to feel better after being very poorly after five weeks, even getting my mojo back to make some cards, which I haven't done for three months. <gasps> Sally, have a go at the weekend. Okay, even if it's just to get them out and just cut some things off or cut some things out while you're watching TV. That always helps me. Uh, so thank you, everybody. Oh, the like and share. Mary, you are right. You see, this is why my head's not with it. So the like and share is a very easy one. We might have done one recently, but this is a really good one for everybody. I am trying to decide what new matchups we want in flowers. Now, if you've never heard of my matchup range, it is my die set. So I have, for example, um, for example, this is a die of an Art Deco. And then I have the actual card making kit to go with it. So what I would like to know is, if you had a choice of any flower, what flower would you like me to design as a match it? And the winner that is going to pick, that I'm going to pick on here, will be the one, and it will be announced by the way, because I've got to go and read through them all. So the like and share will not be picked tonight. It will be open up as a competition, and the winner will win the new flower collection that we do. So like and share this page. Let's get everybody crafting with Debbie Moore Designs uh, and let me know what flower you would like and we're going to do a whole range on it. So everybody can help me with that. Um, I have got Thomas saying hi. I don't know if I said hello to Violet and Margaret already. Uh, don't forget to like and share. Colleen, I like what you put. Clematis, but not sure of his spelling. Well, we could have put it on the list. Uh, and Pauline says, I have that cup. It's always used it. I uh, love it. Always use it. You mean this one here? Me too. Plus it's pink. I do like that. Now I end up, may end up picking two people. So if you are watching on Catch Up, you still get a chance. I'm going to be picking uh, some winners over the weekend and we'll be putting an announcement up at the beginning of the week so that you get people get a chance to win the like and share but please like and share this page and put a flower on i can see we've got daffodils freesias orchids lilacs sweet william foxglove edelweiss now i don't even know what that looks like lucille that automatically reminds me of the song out of the sound of music and I'm not going to sing it, especially with a croaky voice. But you, for those people that watch The Sound of Music with Julie Andrews, my mum loved that film. We actually went to a musical in London to see that years ago. And, you know, when you lose somebody, all these memories come back to you and they become so treasured, don't they? And now when I think about that, it just makes me smile. So, uh, but I have to look that up, Lucille, because I don't know what it looks like. I've got Dawn joined us as well. Ida says, had a message today from the office. Both my orders have been posted. Can't wait. Uh, like and share. <laughs> yes, but freesias are my favourite. Well, as I said, the girls are back uh, in the office and we have, I have to be honest, hundreds of outstanding orders because obviously the office has been closed since the 21st. And as you're aware, the, um, 
a lot of people are waiting for the new diaries items to come in the new magazine unfortunately because of Christmas and because of the Christmas post it got delayed so the girls have been busy processing loads of orders uh, I have got oh Kathy says lupin will be a nice fat flower that's good as well I've got bluebells from Pauline loads and loads of ideas so thank you everybody uh, and Dev needs to pass me my little clock to put on here so everybody you can't probably see them but my new clocks are above me which is not a good idea uh, I don't know if I remember if anybody remembered is that um, I got an amazing Christmas present um, I think I told you Dev and I have only been here in France for about 20 days and we met an amazing group of English people and one of them is Bob and Denise and we're stopping in their gîte while we are doing up our gîte in the chateau so we can move in um, but anyway they bought me they heard that we were talking about I never know what time it is in whatever country zone and they bought me the most amazing set of clocks uh, and so I've got a set of three clocks and so the three time zones that we're picking we're going to change it up every month but we're going to so far we're picking uh, Australia we're also picking um, America and also we're picking Canada for the next few weeks and then I'm changing it up uh, I've got loads more people liking the share oh Wendy's put honeysuckles I like that and Jules would like daffodils and fuchsias I've got Karen saying good evening love daffodils as it reminds me of spring is on its way and lilies oh Karen there is a new range of lilies coming out as well and he was put passion flower do you know what I don't know what a passion flower looks like I'll have to look that one up as well don't forget to put like and share now over on Facebook you may think uh, sorry over on YouTube you may think how can you share the page there is a little button that you can share and don't forget to give me a like if you're liking what you've seen and over on Facebook it's the same thing you can literally click and uh, share the page and give me a like as well um, that tells me that we're doing things right okay so I really do appreciate the likes and the shares I have got Rolf saying I would like to have daffodils in match it range because they are not often to be seen that is a good idea and now do you know you can get different or oh, not daffodils sorry Rolf <laughs> that's gladioli I think that says do you know what I'm so sorry I really read daffodil on there uh, gerberas Michelle's pot uh, Michelle I've already got gerberas they've only just come out you can check on the website um, Kay has put dogwood as well and Janice would like peonies they're really gorgeous we have done peonies in the past you can check that out I think we still got those um, I have got where am I I've got Debbie saying happy new year wishing you all a healthy stress-free one full of crafting thank you for that I've got Maya would like lilies as well and Edna's pot an aid device is a small white flower I really didn't know that uh, Shadia's pot how about cherry blossoms oh that's a good idea do you know what you lot have got so many ideas for me my head's going which one are we going to go so it might be a few winners on here happening um, Sam just put there's so many flowers I'd love any of them oh bless you thank you for that um, I have got oh Thomas says when am I next on TV I'm actually on TV this coming Sunday and I am on I'm trying to remember we are putting them notice on Facebook and sending out a newsletter tomorrow but if you want to write down that I am on Hobby Maker TV and Sewing Street on the what day is Sunday 7th okay on Sewing Street TV I am on at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock and both Bella and I will be on and we will both be doing some sewing live on TV I'm not too sure which presenter I am on with uh, but it'd be loads of fun and we've got let me think we have got loads of fabric in gnomes loads of fabric panels in art deco winter fairies they sold out last time that's in the sewing street and you get to see Bella's done a winter fairies 
quilt oh my goodness she is loving I mean I love in sewing as well but she I, my time is really limited at the moment uh, and she's having so much fun with all the new fabric designs so don't forget to set a reminder to tune in at nine o'clock and eleven o'clock on sewing street on you're gonna ask me what date we'll find not date that were the I'm not sure what the channels but it'll be on Facebook and the newsletter and then on hobby maker TV I'm going to be on at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and 5 p.m. Um, also on Sunday. So it's going to be a very busy day. Uh, right, okay. Anne Hollyhock. What? I've never heard of Hollyhock. I'm going to have to research all this, aren't I? Lucille has also put that L Devices small white mountain flower and the petals are like velvet. That sounds lovely. Yes, Valerie, the magazine is due into our warehouse and it'll be out very, very soon. Uh, Claire's put dog rose, wild roses. We did do a dog rose. It's, the, it's my mum's roses and bloom dye. We still have that. <laughs> Anita says, sorry, I'm late. Just got a notification. Well, you're not late. I've just been chatting. Uh, Elsie's also put that she wants an apple blossom. That would be good. And, oh my goodness, Debbie, you put wood lover matches set with... I do not know if I can pronounce that. As Alstromeria? Is that right? Um, I'm going to have to ask Dave to look that up on YouTube because I don't know how to, if I've pronounced that right. Uh, Sharon wants hydrangeas. They are beautiful flower, I agree. And Heber said lavender. And I'm not too sure, Dawn, what African violets are, but I'm going to definitely have to look. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, everybody, over on... Um, for anybody that's over on YouTube. Right, okay, very quickly, because we're going to move on. I've got Julie, I've got Rosemary joined us as well. Uh, and yes, I do need glasses. Actually, look, I've got my glasses. I keep forgetting to put them on. This is what happens, you know, how, I mean, it must be what, five months now since I've started glasses? Started glasses, started using glasses. What's that one? Alstromania. How do you pronounce it? Alstromania. 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 Oh, Alstromania. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. He's giving me a picture as well of what it looks like. They're very pretty. Okay, uh, Debbie, and I might have to put those on the list. You've all given me so many different flowers. We're going to bring out loads of different flowers, that's for sure. I would love to see all the different wildflowers. Sam, but you haven't told me which ones. You need to make sure you tell me. Uh, I've got Nicola just joined us, saying I'm late, hubby cooked dinner a bit late, and I love fuchsias. Yes, I've got, uh, Wendy says, I, pro I have programmed in my TV, looking forward to seeing the fairy quilt. That sounds beautiful. Wendy, it is gorgeous. I'll see if I can put a little sneak look before the show. Um, I'm actually going to be going to Bella's um, on Friday and Saturday, so we'll see if we can actually hunt it out. Uh, and Anita says, and so does Edna, she says, I pronounce it correctly. Good. Are you on Thursday on Facebook, Thomas has put? Yes. I'm going to be back on. Say again? I am also going to be back on for our craft along next Thursday. I have got, Anita, did I say hello to you from Honolulu? She's also, everybody said I pronounce it right. Uh, and everybody's loving, I'm going to have to say that again, Astro Marius. <laughs> I've got Julie join us as well, saying hi everybody and Debbie and Dave. Uh, a little like getting online, but sitting comfortably, looking forward to life. Well, we're going to get started uh, and everybody's saying I'm pronouncing it right. And Claire, what have you given me? Right, everybody, don't laugh at me. Ready for this? She said, Aranaculius. <laughs> is a very colourful flower. You're not making that up, Claire, are you? That is, I mean, that's Latin. There you go. Uh, obviously, botanical. There you go. So we could, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, doing the flower and having the Latin name next to it. You've all given me ideas, loads of ideas to go with. Right, we're going to get started. I can see Kathleen has joined us. Bird of Paradise she wants. What's that one? I can't. That's so, uh, which one was it that Claire says? Renaculus. Renaculus. Look, Dave's even giving me the picture, everybody. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Um, 
I can see Edna's <laughs> put loads of, she's put ran aculus. The problem I've got, everybody, uh, I can't read phonetic because English is my second language. I, I was born in, in Darlington, the UK, but my parents took me to Spain to live just, I can't remember, when I was, what, 18 or so, 18, not 18, 18 months. <laughs> It's going to be a long night, everybody. I really is. 18 months, and I had to learn to speak Spanish first. I learned to speak English when I was about nine and a half. So so I can't read. This is the problem I'm having, learning French. Because everybody's like, do it phonetically. But I can't read it. Uh, right, okay. I've got Gaina saying hi. Missed a couple of shows, so looking forward to tonight. Right, everybody. So just to remind everybody, tonight is not a craft along. If you're new and don't know what a craft along means, it means that you can download the papers for free and craft along with me. That's been changed to next Thursday, so make sure you set yourself a little reminder. Now, tonight's show, um, I am going to go through um, how the procedure works. I said this every week. It is a very easy thing to remember, is that if you want to write any notes down and send me a message, you can. Uh, the show we're going to get started now is uh, an interactive demonstration and buying show, but you don't ever have to buy. Enjoy the crafting group. Enjoy getting together around the world. We've got so many people. Everybody's giving me loads of ideas. Don't forget to like and share everybody. Uh, and, and basically, um, I'm sorry, I've just got distracted because Edna sent me some stars. And it's got this little star just pulling faces at me. It's hilarious. Thank you, Edna, for those stars. I really do appreciate it. Um, so I forgot what I was saying. I got distracted by that. I'm like one of those, uh, what is it called? One of those magpies. Anything glittery or moving, I get distracted. So the show itself, everybody, sorry, be serious for a little bit. The show is an interactive demonstration show. I'm going to go through some product. If you want to buy, we'll put the information up. But if not, enjoy crafting uh, on YouTube and also on Facebook. If you have any questions about anything to do with crafting, I'll try and help wherever possible. And remember, if you want to buy anything or how it works is we put the code up, for example, the first item, oh, is this, which is brilliant. Okay, it is our six by six craft card, 30. 30 cards and envelopes for 5.99. So if you want that, everybody, all you would need to do is put FB28, no, FB2860 into your comments and it will be allocated to you. Hopefully that makes sense with everybody. I can see more and more people have joined us. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Eileen says, won't be able to watch on Sunday as I'm going to wedding dress shopping with my daughter if I'm better. Oh, Eileen, well, I hope you feel better. And not to worry, enjoy your day shopping with a wedding dress. That's lovely. Uh, and special and don't forget you can watch it on catch up okay you can watch the shows on catch up mary you've already ordered one bless you uh so if you want any of these okay just put fb2860 and i can see a message through from thomas are you still creating craft are you on still on creating craft or not really no thomas i'm actually on hobby maker tv I changed to Hobby Maker TV from last October. Um, so I'm still on TV, but not, not on Creator and Craft. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and now I'm also working on Sewing Street TV. So I still work on TV, um, but only on those two channels. Victoria says, Debbie, do you know when the emails will be sent for, out for those order the download club? Victoria, don't panic. They'll be going with you tomorrow. Uh, and you will have a month from tomorrow to use your uh, 40 pounds worth of goodies for what the price of what you paid of 20 pounds. And that will be going out tomorrow. So don't panic about that. Uh, and, it will, and it will explain how everything's going through. So going back to these payment links. So if you order anything, what will happen is this show will be processed over the weekend and emails will be sent out over the weekend and Monday for anything that's ordered tonight. Uh, and Pauline says, I still have half a package left of that card set. I know, it really is. Um, so it is a brilliant buy. If you want it, put it in your basket, $5.99. Now, how these systems work, everybody, is you will get an email 
with a payment link and it's so straightforward all you need to do is click on the payment link it will show you what you've ordered you can of course change your mind you can add more to your order if you're not too sure how to do it you can contact the office and we'll go through the information and you can uh, they might want you might want an order merge with the previous one or you might just totally change your mind it is entirely up to you now how you order sorry not order how you pay you can pay by debit card credit card and paypal you can even ring on our office number which is 07553 457 168 and you can email us at info at debbymoredesigns.com or private messages at Debbie Moore Designs. Now we are a bit behind with our admin. So just so you're all aware, okay, the quickest way to get an answer is by phone at the moment. And even if you are international and have any queries, if you put your telephone number on, we will contact you. Hopefully the, the, the zones, the time zones will help that. Um, and if you have any questions, we'll try to get through it as soon as possible. Um, I have got more messages coming through. Uh, Heber says, did you have ever have a go, ever done a heart Valentine's Day design for your card making? I've had a couple of people asking me, Valentine's cards, yes. There's a lovely collection called Send With Love. It's one of my favourite Valentine collections, but also anniversary. Uh, and there is, you can go on and there is check out on the website in the download section. You can even just download a Valentine's card as well. Uh, Michelle says they do ship to the USA, uh, but it can be a bit pricey. But they do the best they can to keep it down low as possible. Have I missed something? Oh, thank you, Michelle. You're applying to Mary. Um, now, Hobby Maker does actually have a one shipping. If I remember rightly, it's something like $9.95 for whether you have one item or two or three items, Mary. We do ship directly now from Hobby Maker. And I have to be honest, their shipping is cheaper than what we can do on Debbie Moore Designs. So if you're in the States, it's worth having a look at the shows um, when I'm on air because I can't ship as cheap or as, well, I can't get the deal that Hobby Maker do. Okay, so keep an eye out on that. Okay, um, I have got, right, I think I've gone through everything. Let's get started. Now, you're just going to have to bear with me tonight, everybody, because I'm feeling a little bit down uh, under the weather. My voice keeps going, so I'm having, I've got a coffee and water. Yes, Lucille, we do have a Valentine's Art Deco collection. There's a card kit on the website. Um, but we will be bringing out, I think, um, if you wait um, a week, no, two weeks, they'll be on um, one of the shows that we're going to be doing. I've got Cheryl joined us from Perth saying, made it today, yay. Hi, Cheryl, happy new year. Uh, and I've got Sharon says, Hobby Maker is twelve ninety five to the US. Thank you, Sharon. I got it wrong. I was out by three, is that pounds? Um, or it must be dollars. So thank you for that. Right, okay, everybody. Let's get started. So, and then we're going to do some demos. Now, I will try to answer any queries, but if I miss any queries, everybody, we will actually pick up and reply to them tomorrow uh, and Monday, depending on how many there is. So, the first item is this pack of 6x6 craft card and envelopes. Brilliant price for 30 They are, as you can see, you've got the envelope as well as that gorgeous card so it's two-toned i've got joanne saying hi debbie so i'm late you're not late we are just starting so as you can see here everybody it is a six by six 30 cards and envelopes really good value for 5.99 if you want one just put it in the basket or in your comments i should say fb2860 and it'll be allocated to you now let's move that to the side now, one of the things that you all know I love is Art Deco. So what I've got here is I have got this beautiful collection. It is on offer. It is gorgeous, everybody. So you have got FB2861, Match It Art Deco, Gatsby 2 die set, uh, and card making kit. Because you're going to get, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10, 11 dies, two characters, and 32 sheet card making kit. So you've got the characters. Yes, I've used it. You can see that. Oh, where's it's all because I've not. It's all still in the 
it comes with a forever code as well and then you get your character sheets as well as your card fronts so that's the kit obviously yours I had a sheet in there that I'd obviously cut uh, and as you can see it makes gorgeous basically very easy with a beautiful cards in minutes look at that look at the 3d with that one and you've got the roses now the roses you don't have to just use an art deco it is just a gorgeous collection you can have an umbrella so you've got totally different characters you can put them individually you can do different things 19.99 everybody this was brand new uh, I think in the summer last year FB 2861 19.99 also don't forget it comes with a forever code which means if you wanted to make this card 10 times 100 times in your lifetime or a thousand times you can because you will have the forever code every one of my printed kits if it's a new printed kit let me just show you this the last sheet will look like this I'm not going to show you because it, it has a code in there you keep that even if you don't have the facility to print it off at the moment you will know somebody that will you'll know somebody that will have a printer that can download it and print it and you can create these gorgeous cards in minutes honestly it is a lovely pack yes Anita you've agreed and so has Anna um, Cal says can anybody tell me how you can lose a die you are using Carol I do that all the time check under here I sometimes get it stuck underneath this is FB 2861 everybody 1999 is brilliant uh, and then as you can see I've got so many options and colorways here and this is what you're going to be able to do I love the two tones but it's great okay uh, that you've got also the single tones and there's more colors I've not used all of them I've just pulled out some of the others you've got sentiments on here uh, and as you can see you've got extra elements I always give you the let's move that one out of the way that obviously I've used that let's move that you've got like the green tones in there you've also got sentiments that say things like too much of anything is bad but too much champagne is just right that is hilarious F Scott Fitzgerald said that that is amazing so you've got all the from the blues to even the deep reds that would make a lovely Valentine's card and we've even got tabs that says Happy Mother's Day as well so you've got all these in all these different colors I love that one it's wine o'clock live the party love the party be the party FB 2861 it is fabulous all you need to do is decide on the scene lay it all out and then create them so these are all even die cut where is it gone so look you have got that okay then you've got the parasol you've got some leaves some flowers even the butterflies look if I lift this up I've got these tiny little butterflies how cool is that everybody so you can have and you can use these on other collections Lois has put so pretty yes and Pauline loves the color blending in the gaps we set yes we do an awful lot they call ombre effects now remember this is a gorgeous collection for you to enjoy that's FB 2861 I am going to move over to one side um, it looks like I've missed a message oh Joanne says she's feeling low since uh, in really low it's five years since I had my cat put to sleep due to cancer oh bless you Joanne I'm so sorry I hope uh, I can make you smile a little bit but uh, remember you know get your memory books out we'll be talking at, well we were talking last year I can't believe I can say last year about creating memory books not just of uh, lost family members but animals are part of a family aren't they um, Jane says I have a small magnetic dish to keep my dyes in while I'm using them so I don't lose them Jane that's a very good idea isn't it I've got Dee's just joined us uh, saying hi Debbie and Dave and fellow crafters and he was part I so love making 3d decoupage cards it's my personal favorite kind of cards that I made for myself really lovely you'll be able to do decoupage with this as well because you can layer it up now remember I don't know if you saw this one this is completely flat can you see that and this one is very 3d can you see that got foam pads along there so you can see how it gives you depth 
by using the foam pads. So remember that when you're actually working with it, everybody. Okay, so the next item that we have is our faux bow. Now, we've got these now back in stock. They've literally just come in uh, this week. So you've got, we've given a couple of pounds off for people who missed out last time. Um, 12 99 Now you'll be able to, I've seen it somewhere, you'll be able to create these 3D bows. And I am going to be showing you how to make a different type of tail on the end. So this is how it's set. So that is that big one here. Uh, and literally I will be showing you how you can put the tails of the bows at the bottom here. Uh, Edgy says, just popping in to say hi, I will watch tomorrow, need to charge my phone, Loads of, load shedding in, a, in South Africa, so I had no electricity. Love the look of this kit. <laughs> well, that's good to know, you take care, and don't forget that is available on Ketchup. Right, okay, so going back to the bow, you, can, you know, finishing off the bow is a, is a fab way. You can, obviously it's a paper. You can create 3D looks in any, you can use any of the time. So this is FB2862. You are going to be creating two size bows and I'm going to be showing you how to, how to do it. I think um, Rita did these cards, I think. I don't know why her name isn't on the back. And if I'm wrong, I am sorry. But normally they put the names on the back, okay? But having a bow, you'll be able to do it in any colourway, everybody. Uh, Anna says, I love these dies. They make it so easy. And as I have difficulty with fussy cutting. Yes, totally agree. Um, okay. So the this is FB2862. Now the next one I want to do is an older number. Because we're going to be doing sunflower. Dave gave it away, everybody. We're going to be doing sunflowers in the demonstration. So this is an old code and it's FB2842. 499. You are going to get sunflowers, 20 different sunflowers and a forever code. You've got them all in different colorways. And the, you will get a last page that will have a forever code and they get a set of dies. 499. Now this set of dies is joined, so all you do is simply take it off, put it on as one in one go. Can I take it off? They always get stuck on really well. There we go. So as you can see, it's one set. You run it through like so. Um, yes, Sue, you can have that, no problem. So this is FB2842, Sunflowers. Now, if you haven't heard of my mini matches, they're fabulous because they have, they finish off, a, you can actually put them on a sentiment, you can create even a little mini wreath, it is great. Uh, Ida says, thought I wouldn't use the bows, but since buying them, buying, have used as finished touching on loads of cards. Edith, that bow maker die set is one of the best dies, you, because you know what? You can create any colour bow you want okay from pink to go with art deco from going to green for the lovely sunflowers and that's just the same one okay you're going to get two sizes and i'm going to show you i'm going to be demonstrating how to create two different types of finish so you when i say but you'll you'll see what i mean when i do the demo don't worry but it's brilliant victoria's loving the match it yes definitely uh, Michelle has put, I will say, the deals Debbie give us here are better than we can find elsewhere. <laughs> oh, bless you. So much be worth the bit extra of shipping. Thank you. Bless you, Michelle. If I could give you better shipping, I would in the States. And I am in talks with sorting out somebody in America. Um, so watch this space, okay? Um, okay, so that is FB2842. And now we're going to look at uh, the USB key. So the USB key that I have on offer, because tonight's shows are special sale prices, is this USB key. It's one of my favourites, over 1,290. Now this is available, everybody, as not only as a USB key, but it's also available as a download. Now what we've got available is we have a USB key, the download is FB2864, and that's 1099. 
And then for people who want the card kit, we've got the card making kit, FB2865. I'm putting these three codes up because I want to show all these samples for $9.99. So I'm going to put that down. Look, you can create, this was created right even down to a little envelope here. It finishes it off. I love the papers that you can create. Totally different. Some flowers always make me smile. And you can just send a little note if you're feeling down, okay? You can send uh, special condolences. You've got to remember these shape cards, or I should say toppers. And this is what we're going to talk about. You've got different. So if you've got any of my nesting, nesting dies, they'll work with them. Or you can actually uh, simply fussy cut it out. And as I'm going through it, you can see that you've got bags, boxes, you've got so many elements on here. So the USB keys, FB2863, the digital, okay, we have uh, the card making kit as well. The digital is at 2863, the digital is 2864 for 1099. And then we also have, I don't know if you remember doing this. Um, we had this fab. This was a craft along that I did. I don't know when I did it. It is available. Why well, can't get there? We go. So this is a waterfall card using the sunflowers. You can have loads of different techniques. We're going to have a look at the USB key so you can see what we have. Uh, Betty says got gale force winds here. Blew my fence down and felt oh felting up my shed last week. Oh Betty, well you'd stay safe. Claire says, I have this. It's beautiful. Well, let's have a look at it for people that don't. And Jules loves the Sunflower Delights. It is a gorgeous collection, everybody. So this is how, whoops, we'll just bear with me, everybody. We'll get rid of that. <laughs> that is YouTube. We're just bringing... So we're just bringing it up in a second. Just bear with me. So remember, my USB keys work on PC, Mac and Linux. Even the latest Windows 11. Lois has put, I love sunflowers so much. Yes, definitely. Uh, me too. It al they always make me smile, everybody. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the USB key in a second, which is the download. Also available. Oh, Jen says she's got the USB key and it's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Now, remember, when you actually get any of my collections, if you get it as a download, it's exactly the same as if you get it as a USB key. The exception is obviously a card making kit. So this is what you would see that you can see on the screen. Now, there's no way that I'm going to be able to go through absolutely everything, everybody. So all you need to do is remember, I'm going to go through to two, three sections. We're going to go look at the papers to start off with. Now, look at this. If we click on the bottom, the last left, left, there you go. I'm just going to open one just to show you that they're jam-packed and with a theme of sunflowers. We close this down by clicking on the X at the top. You can then see, you keep on going, you've got all kinds of sunflowers. Some of them, you know, different colorways, different tones, keep on going. We keep on going. We've got five pages of gorgeous, gorgeous papers. But then you've got what we call the mats, like the greens at the bottom, the one in the middle there, that one there, keep going. So you can see that you've got some with ombre effect, really a beautiful collection. Now we close this down and we're going to go to the design sheets. Now this collection has been designed, and just click on the first one, with inspirational quotes. So you've got quotes that are inspirational, you've got quotes that are religious, you've got quotes where well, you basically also got toppers that don't have anything on. So if you close this down and just go to the next section, at the bottom where it says life is beautiful in blue, you can see that we try to do different ones. This is one that I'm going to be using the top, uh, top of it. it says, I hope your day is as bright as a sunflower. I love that. You send that to somebody as a get well card, that's amazing. But as you can see, you have also got some uh, religious quotes on there as well as inspiration quotes. If you close this down and go to the next one, uh, keep on going to the next one and choose the top one, any of the ones at the top. So it's just showing you that we've got different ones. So as you see, you can, you've got life is beautiful there and you'll notice the nesting dies. Now, if you've got any of my nesting dies, then they will match these shapes. But if you haven't, don't worry, you can use it. You can fussy cut them out. Now, there's so much on here and what I want to do is show you two more. Keep going, close it down, uh, go to the next page. 
and then go to the bottom one any of those when you click on one up will come up a sentiment for you now if you want to print this off if you're brand new go to top right hand side and you can see okay you have got choices to print this off oh edith i love your message you said the sentiments on the sunflower usb key are some of the best quotes i've used oh thank you edith that is such a lovely thing to say i do appreciate it susan's just joined you says i'm so late tonight we'll do catch up after the show all the best and good health for 2024 everybody thank you for that uh, Heber says, I've started using round diamond-like gems and pearl effects to give my Art Deco cards a bit of bling. Yes, uh, I totally agree with you there. Um, and so she always put some flowers on my favourite flowers. Always put a smile on my face when I grow them. Oh, I'm going to have a go at growing them this year. Anyway, going back to this, everybody can change the size of anything by clicking on scale. Everybody has this because it's on every printer. You just need to find it. Find where it says you can change the scale, click on that, and you'll be able to customize it. If you want it to fit the, fit the dies that you have, you have to keep it at 100%. But look, you know, if anybody wants to make their own tags, you've got so much on here. There is so much for everybody to enjoy in this collection. You have over 1,290 printable elements at one size. So if you change the size, already you've duplicated the amount. If you come out of here, Keep on going to the next page. There's still more to see, everybody. <gasps> Click on that bottom one. There. Any of those. So look at that one. True friends are like bright sunflowers that never fade away, even over distance and time. How lovely is that? And look at that one. Think happy, be happy. Like a sunflower, stand tall and find the sunflower, sunlight even. <laughs> How beautiful are these quotes? There is inspirational ones, religious ones, and uplifting quotes on here. So if you need to send somebody a how-to, go to the next page. You will know, look, click on that bottom one. Stand out, look at that. Don't try, to, don't try too hard to fit in. You were born to stand out. Honestly, everybody, you will not be disappointed with this collection, exactly like Eda said. Right, there's loads more in here. Look at that. Boxes, dimensional cards, cut-ups, mini bags, tags, toppers. So much on there. If you click on the dimensional cards, everybody, love, love. You've got rocker cards, easel cards, side scenes. There's so much on there. If you click on one of the side scenes, there you go. You click on that. Everything's done for you. Right down to showing you what to do. You can send somebody a dimensional card Honestly, everybody, remember, it's available as a USB key, FB2863, $12.99 instead of $19.99. And also, you have got the download, so you can download it, FB2864. And this is the fabulous download, and it's only FB2864, it's $10.99. And then we have a card making kit. Now, we'll put up the picture for the card making kit. Uh, for anybody who wants the card making kit, uh, I've got a message saying, I hope you pronounce your first name right, Anjali. It said, the flower, uh, the flower I love, passion flower. Well, th I think you put, yes, I'm sorry, I've got so many messages coming through. I'm trying to read them as much as possible. Um, um, I might, uh, I need to pick more flowers, that's for sure. I'm going to do that. Uh, thank you for everybody's messages, everybody. Is the same, Mary said, is it the same as Sunflower Dreams? Mary, it's not. This is not Sunflower Dreams. It's totally different. We've got new USB keys. And did you notice there's loads of blue colorways? So we did this. Uh, Sunflower Dreams is one of my earlier collections. This one is only a few years old. So this is the newest collection, Sunflower Delights. Okay. So I've just showed you the card making kit if anybody wants it. Um, so essentially we'll go back to that card making kit FB2865. As you can see there you have got 21 crafting sheets and they are different to what we've just seen because this is from our Sunflower Dreams collection. It comes with a forever code which means it never ever runs out. So you can go for this if you want this uh, and it's F be 2865 now we're going to do a little demonstration now if anybody has any questions please feel free to ask what i'm going to do is we are going to um we're going to mix and match with everything um 
Pauline's put, I like your bees in this collection. Or do you? <laughs> and FB2864. Uh, Valerie, that FB2864 is the download collection. Is that right? You put DigiKit. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I wish I had Debbie's fast brain or multitasking. D, I am not tonight. Okay, as I said, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, Julie, I presume you would like the USB key FB2863. So this is, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to multitask. I'm going to do a card from scratch, okay? So what I've done is the craft card, that set that works beautifully and lends itself beautifully with the collection. So this is the craft card that I had on first thing um, at the show. And then what I've done is I've got some papers that I've kind of cut out. Now I'm doing this very quickly because I want to show you how to do a quick card, how to, some of the toppers, how to cut them down. And then essentially, um, so Valerie, you've just said about wanting that digital download kit. I haven't got, do you mean you wanted the card making kit as a download? I think that's what you're saying. Because that picture that I showed you, um, that is a physical clip kit of the card making kit. So we'll just put that up one second. The Sunflower card making kit with Forever Code 999. That is not a digital. It, the reason why Dave's got a picture of it up on the screen is I don't know what I've done with it. So we're showing you it on the screen. But that is not a download. But if you want it as a download, you can. Um, I will hunt it out and send it. So can you please confirm? Okay. So going back to this demo, what I wanted to do is show you how you can actually use a topper on a square card without losing it because obviously toppers that come in different sizes this is actually a rectangle which really is a bit too big for this card so i'm going to just take this down to there and trim it down and i'm i love the fact that you've got almost like a vintage feel through this so what i'm doing is essentially just trimming this bit off the bottom and then it fits really uh, very easily to actually work out so that's going to go there I actually want to do a bit of a tearing, well mainly like a vintage feel, by basically just bending this over a little bit. And then I have already got some craft card here. I'm going to have that literally at the top like so. And then I'm just using my trimmer to trim it down. Okay, and simply... All I'm doing is I'm wanting a hint of vintage. That's all I'm doing. Uh, Judy says, I have this kit. I love it. It is a gorgeous kit, honestly. Now, I'm layering up. I just want to show you. All I'm doing is layering everything up because we're doing a quick card. And then the other thing is, as you can see, this is going to be a vintage card. It's going to be sent to somebody who is... I've taken this sheet here, you can see, it says good luck. I'm going to, it's going to be a good luck. They're having, they're going for a new job or they're going to go for somewhere and they need some good luck. So I'm going to use that. But before I do that, I want to add some tones of blue to that to fit in with this card. But the other thing I wanted to show you is have a look at the papers. I've started to do this type of paper. So you can use it as it is, everybody. Or what you can do, these butterflies, so I've got them in blue. And I just want a couple of yellow ones. Now, when it comes to something like this, I want to show you how easy it is to cut something out to make it look like you've die cut it. So, of course, you can use smaller scissors if you want. All I'm doing is cutting, leaving a little edge round it so it looks like I've die cut it. And then simply just go around it like so. Move the paper. Don't move your scissors and go around it and you can see that I'm leaving a little edge all the way around and I'm actually I'm, t I'm cutting off I don't know what they're called the antennae is that what it is on a butterfly mm -hmm. and then what I'm doing is bending that and then all I'm doing is going to put that where am I going to put it I'm going to put it over that way 
and that's how easy it is to add a butterfly. Um, you'll find that there's loads and loads of different papers that has options like this. I use this with different themes, not just the sunflowers. So I'm just going to cut out another paper, so just uh, another butterfly, just to show you again. So move the paper all the way along, like so. And the thing about it is, I tend to use, I feel comfortable using the large scissors because I put my fingers all in there and go around it. I know some people prefer the smaller scissors. Do whichever you prefer. Okay, and then all I'm doing is going round. I'm cutting that bit off and going round again. And then I'll put that off in a minute. So I'm using my three-in-one glue. Where is it? There it is. And then we're going to put this together. So this is my base. Now remember, when you come to collections, if you're going for a full collection like a USB key or a um, CD even, or even a download, you will find that it has, just move this bit down a bit more, you'll find that it has different elements on here. So I am going to simply, I just want to change my mind, I'm going to put this further down here. Oh no, I'm going to have it here. This is what happens. All crafters are the same. We start off with an idea and then we change our minds. But what I was saying is I'm going to do an insert because one of the questions I've been asked is how do you put an insert in? So I'm going to add an insert to this. Michelle's just joined us. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. So this is from Sunflower Delights. It's a beautiful range, everybody. And then I've got my I'm just doing a quick card everybody so this is going to go in here and what I want to do is just a simple oh wrong way I'm going to have that there I want a good uh, good look on this card and this is printed off the collection and all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of blue and what have I done with my acrylic block so all I'm doing is tapping some blue on here and then just rubbing blue just round it just to change the look of this it's quite handy to have these inks in I have the smaller ones check out the website there we go and then and I've just used stormy sky by the way everybody just added a little blue and then I'm cutting this by trimming it down I've just printed this on the satin paper, by the way. Remember, you can print off on different mediums. And then, literally, I'm trimming this off. I haven't decided. I think I'm going to trim this down to there. There we go. So this is now going on here. So this is my front of my card. So I'm just adding some glue to it. If anybody has any questions, let me know. I will try to answer them. This is from the Sunflower Delights collection. Hi, Margaret. Thank you for joining us. Let's put this on here. I love craft card because it works beautifully with the sunflower. And then this is going to go on here. And then I, I really don't want to hide that. There, it's going to go on there. Don't want to hide. Yeah. So I'm actually going to keep this nice and flat. So I've got it like so and then always remember with your layering you can decide where you want everything I want to show I want you to see that lovely border but this bit I just want to just bring it over a little bit and this is going to go here then I've got a couple of lovely little butterflies now I've done with my foam pads now let's add this on here so what I want is the foam pads to stand out and then I want to show you one of the questions was how do you ha do an insert so this card here is got an insert printed off from the USB key or it could be the collection download I'm going to have that there and then we're going to stick these lovely little butterflies I'm going to have one here like so and then the other one, I'm going to just have it the other way. Right, everybody. 
Now remember when it comes to this, this is just printed off on satin paper. I've got Anne just joined us also on YouTube. She's put, uh, hi, I love, love, love your cards. Happy New Year to you and everybody. Happy New Year to you as well. So there's the basis of a card. It says, I hope your day is as bright as a sunflower. Now inside, look, I've printed off from the USB key or the download everybody. So this is this collection that I'm using. It, it, we do have also available as a card kit as well if you want a sunflower card kit and I have got two I think I'm going to stick to the blue color palette I think I prefer the blue now all you need to do is fold it in half use a bone folder like so get a nice sharp edge and what you do everybody is this goes here so this is printed off the collection and then all I'm doing is I'm putting this lovely um, insert in but to open it I want to make sure that when I open the card the insert follows so it needs to go on the left hand side only watch what I do so this is going to go here press down on this part so then when you open the card, the un can you see the insert is automatically following it? Still a bit wet, so you need to make sure it dries a little bit more. And then what I've got here, what's how we're doing on time? Uh, I might quickly do it, because one of the other questions was, how do you put a envelope? So this is a matching envelope. And this is printed off the collection. So this is FB2864. If you want one of these and simply all you would do I might just do it very quickly because I think you're all still with me I can see messages coming through so this is an envelope look how easy it is to do a matching envelope so you send in a card to somebody who is having it's really you know you're going for a new job or they're going for uh, they need some good luck so you can send that to them uh, Judy says, just lovely. Everything complements each other. Perfect. Exactly. Now, we haven't talked about much about angel policy. Uh, and I really just realized it's not often people ask me about it. If you make cards to sell for charity, or for even for yourself, if you have craft fairs, um, you can raise, you can actually, we give you permission to make as many cards as you want for yourself, uh, for charity or for yourself. But what we don't allow you to do is obviously print off the sheets and sell the sheets. So as long as you make something, you can make as many cards as you want and sell them. And how cool would it be to have a matching box or you could even have a matching bag or pillow box. There's so much on here for you to enjoy. So I'm just quickly, while we're chatting... I'm cutting down the four sections you need to complete a square envelope. So, of course, yes, if you're going for the craft card, it did have matching craft envelopes. But don't you agree that having your own sunflower, so just to recap, sunflower envelope will be much better. So you can see that I'm literally just trimming this down. You can rub ink, blue ink, around the edges, but I'm not because of time, because I've got a couple of more things I want to show you. And all I'm doing, everybody, is watch. I've cut this out. I've gone around the outside, so simply... So an envelope, you could say, what, two minutes, maybe three minutes? It doesn't take long. Look how quickly I'm doing it. Once you've had the collection, everything's done to measure. You don't have to worry about missing the wrong size you can see that I've got the broken lines everything's done for you and once you've cut everything out you just need to get your paper trimmer or a scoreboard line up I need my ball tool where's my ball tool typical I never can find it when I need it oh there it is all you can do is line it up on a paper trimmer and or, or a scoreboard and look how easy it is to score Go around it like so. What I will warn you is you need to be careful not to be too heavy handed. 
My mum, bless her, used to say to me, Debbie, you're like a bull in a china shop. You're rushing around all the time. And sometimes I will do this and I will put uh, a hole in it. But luckily, if you have it as a collection, you can just print it off again. So all I'm doing is folding these over, like so, and fold the top bit up as well. Oops. You need to reinforce it with your bone folder and then open it up. Oh, I've forgotten the top bit. Open it up and then look what I'm doing. This bit goes on here. This bit goes on here. Be a lovely wedding invitation, wouldn't it? And this bit goes on here. That's how easy it is to do. Carol's put, love making your matching envelopes. It is so easy, everybody. Have a go. If you've got the collections, you'll find that I do the matching envelopes in nearly every collection because I want you to be able to provide matching envelopes to everything that you do. And they're available in different sizes. Um, and look at this. How easy is this to put this together? Right, where am I with questions? I've got more questions coming through. Uh, Karen says, hi Debbie, happy new year. I've got, he says, how do you come up with so many beautiful, gorgeous designs? I don't sleep. <laughs> I don't sleep. So this folds over and this folds up to there, everybody. And then very quickly, you can use red liner tape if you want. I tend to use glue because it's quickly, quickly. That's not even English, it's quicker. There's my envelope, there's my card, okay, good luck card, and it's even got an insert. How cool is that, everybody? All the collections, look at that. There is so much going on. Uh, Polly says, I'm going back to work next week, so I won't be watching live unless I'm off on a sick day. I'll miss you, Dave, Debbie, and everybody at the live chat. We'll watch on replay. Well wishes to you all. Oh, well, maybe, Pauline, you can make one of the coffee mornings. Okay, uh, right, okay, so that's that one. So just to recap, that's FB2864. Uh, sorry, 63 is the USB key, everybody. Uh, if anybody wants the collection, over 1,290 printable elements. The digital download, honestly, it is, don't take my word for it. Look at Edith and everybody else who's got this collection. It is a fabulous collection. Enjoy it. Uh, this, so I've created, I've just demonstrated this envelope. I've shown you how to make this fabulous card and using paper, this is just one of the motifs of the paper and even showed you how to put an insert in. So all that's off this collection. It's available as a 10.99 instead of 17.99 as a download on FB2864. Uh, and if you just want a card making kit and don't want a digital download but love the idea of sunflowers, there, that's a card making kit. Obviously you will not get envelopes in it fb2865 we will put the picture up and you can see uh um there is 21 crafting sheets and honestly everybody it is sunflowers just make everybody smile oh steven's just joined us he says hi everybody sorry i'm uh, evening sorry i'm late back from southampton hospital had tests for carpal tunnel oh take it easy everybody uh okay and where i got forgot to ask the steampunk damage usb key i can't find a digital download option on its own please could you let me know it's available uh if it's not available i will have a look and see and she's put oh and i got the moonlight dreams today and i love it oh i'm so glad you do love it okay um and then Oh, Gaynor said, just a quick question. Have the magazines been sent out yet? We're waiting for the magazine to come in, Gaynor. So it should be in very soon and it'll go out straight away. Sorry, the printers have been delayed um, because obviously because of the Christmas period. So it's back on schedule. And as I said, the girls have been so busy. They've only been back two days since the 21st. So uh, please be a little bit more patient. Actually, the magazine, you guys have got it because the magazine is one of the items that I will be having on TV at the weekend. So you're going to get yours before anybody else, okay? And uh, if you haven't ordered it, I would recommend you get it because I think it's going to sell out. Uh, issue 67. Uh, Liz says, as always, your designs 
that are stunning oh thank you liz well you know what it is a very once you've got the tools it makes life easier doesn't it so that is the card making kit now we're just keeping them going uh, because it's not just about card making about sunflowers i have been asked if we have any gnomes left i'll be honest there isn't that many gnomes left at the moment so we have let me move this out of way this now this kit has gone limited celebration gnomes where's it gone there we go get the right one not that one this one this is fb2866 now it's normally 32.98 now i'm telling you all uh, about this because once it's sold out it won't be coming back we'll be moving on to new designs so this is a card making kit that you can create cards like this okay and more it's called celebration gnomes and as you can see you are going to be getting all the cups i've got it upside down sorry about that all the characters okay that you can create it in different colorways of course so you can do valentine's you can do get well you can do a uh, birthday just for you you can do thinking of you you can have just especially for you and you get the dies look at all the dies you're going to get uh, you're going to get 16 dies. Once it's gone, it is gone, everybody. It has gone limited. Uh, people have been asking me about my gnome dies. I've got two different sets. I'm just showing with them. 19.99, brilliant price because it comes with a forever code. These will never ever run out. And to be able to create cards like that new home. Obviously, you've got Valentine's as well. You've got Father's Day coming up. You've got birthday. You've got just for you. Thinking of you. You are going to love this gnomtastic collection and talking of gnomtastic the next collection that we have it is our gardening gnomes love love this now i don't know if i have time um stephen says did you get my message about my wife um not yet stephen i will be honest i am behind with all i've got hundreds of messages i'm hoping to catch up this weekend with all the messages so if you're waiting for replies please bear with me we've been inundated it's almost like everybody's been off on christmas break and sent messages in to debbie more designs we've literally had hundreds so um i will try to get all that sorted out this weekend so over here, everybody, this is our gardening build the scene, exactly the same. The only difference that we have is we have 18 dies on this one. And look, you'll be able to create this. 19.99, everybody. Look how adorable that is. You've got them in different colorways. You've got bees as quite the cute ones there. You've got gardening. You have also got them, not just landscape. Don't worry about that. Obviously, look at the characters that you've got. And how it's designed, you've got all, the, so the dies themselves, if I just show you this, there's all your dies. All the little ones go as one piece to make it easier for your die cutting. Okay, you've got a forever code with it as well. FB2867, first come, first serve. As I said, once the gnomes are gone, they are gone. Honestly, very adorable characters and scenes that you've got. You've got them as landscapes. You're going to have so much fun with this. And it's great for the whole family. Um, right, okay. So the next one that we have, okay, it is digital. And because people have been asking me for more about gnomes, I thought I'd put it on. Uh, Pauline says, Debbie is one super busy lady. Pauline, you don't know the half of it. I've got some news that I will share in the, in the next couple of weeks. But we have got so much going on at the moment, okay? Uh, so the next item that we have is our FB2868. And it's this lovely card, no, yeah, card making digital download. Normally $9.99. There's the picture. 24 crafting sheets, everybody. Who is not going to want that? How adorable. So if you want something that you can download straight away, you've got that option. There you go. Seriously, enjoy it. It's such a very easy collection to use. That's FB2867. No, 68 even. 4.99. And all you need to do is to download everybody. If you want the physical kit, let me know because we still have some in stock. And I'm sure I can do a special price on it. Um, but that is just a digital download, FB2868. 
And then the next one we have, everybody. So the next one is FB2869. And it is our Art Deco. So I have some finished cards. I really do think Rita did these. I think. If you're watching, I'm sorry. I don't know why there's no names to them. $4.99. We'll put the Gatsby back up again to show you what you're going to get in there. Okay. And as you can see, you have got gorgeous toppers. It's one of my absolute all-time favourite. If you want an Art Deco collection, go for this one. This is the one uh, that Pauline was on about that she loves the two-tone ones. It really is a lovely collection to have. So all you need to do, remember, is put the code in and you will not be disappointed with it because uh, FB2869, 24 crafting sheets for you to enjoy. Uh, and I can see people are already going for the collections. It really is, whichever, if you go for the gnomes, as you can see on here, we've got the toppers, just a simple topper. And she's used that bow. I'm going to see, I'm going to do a demonstration with that bow in a second. Uh, and it finishes off and you can see there, this is the green one that you can see in the top left. You can see just, just at the top left, you can see she's actually used it as a main feature. FB2869 and even spring papers. I love this. It's always champagne o'clock. One of my favorite sentiments. Uh, Denise says, can I have the physical kit as well? Of course you can. And I presume you mean for the gnomes, Denise, because that code FB2868 is the gnome kit. The one that we're looking at now is FB2869. Uh, and it is gorgeous. And there's that one as well. And don't forget, as you can see on here, what, oh, put that back up, please, Dev. I was just about to show you on the sheet, there is decoupage options. So that top sheet, you can see, we've even got decoupage on items. And I think, was it Heber that said she loves doing decoupage? This is a lovely element to have um, where you can actually just give that 3D look and finishing off with a bow, which I'm going to do a bow. I just need some paper to show you with. Uh, if anybody has any questions, please let me know. Okay. Uh, we're going to do, uh, yes, Denise, brilliant. Thank you for confirming that you want to have a, uh, you want the collection to be from the Gnome collection. It is a beautiful card, Valerie. I totally agree. I hope it is Rita that did make them, and I'm sorry if it's somebody else. Um, there should be names on the back of these when it's not. Um, but we're going to do, we're going to put this code back up. This is now back in stock. FB2862, and I want to show you how to do a different type of bow. So we're going to, if I just move this out the way, I need to get my die cut machine up here because I've got it on the floor at the moment. Do you know, I have got a new uh, Crafters Companion die cut machine, but Bella's got it uh, until everything's set up here. So what I'm doing, everybody, is... I am going to do a, a large bow, so I'm going to put this one here. So I'm using the large section so you can see how it's done. So I'm going to put that on there, and I'm going to put that on there. And then, uh, let me go, let me just sort this out. I need, oh, there it is, low tack. Lois says, we really need to use this die to cut out a felt bow for a hair clip. Oh, that's a good idea, Lois. Now... Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to use this paper. This is a gnome paper with little bees on, and I'm making. I've just realized the section that I've got hasn't got many bees. Let me just do it that way. So I'm just putting that in. And then all I'm doing is having, where am I going to do? I'm going to have, I want some bees on there. I have a bee in the middle. And then I'll have some bees on here like that. Okay, obviously you can be, you can use any um, paper that you want. And then I'm just going to use my die cut machine and run it through like so. Uh, Stephen's Crafters Companion die cut machine is brilliant. Yes, well, Bella's been telling me about that, Stephen. I haven't got it at the Chateau yet, but it will be coming eventually when everything, when I get my 
craft room up and running. So as you can see, I always turn it over to make sure it's gone through okay. And it has. So then I have got my bows. Let me just move this out the way, done. And what I want to do is show you how to essentially, let me move that out of the way, make a different type of bow. So let me just show you this. You would think I need a bigger space with all the space I've got here. Right, so to create the bow, it's two sections. Now the bow comes in two sizes. And all I'm doing, going like this. Now, one of the best things I would recommend is a ball tool. You can use your fingers, but I love, these are our ball tools. It really is going round. Oh, Jeanette says she bought Gemini 2 last month and it's far better than Gemini 1. I'll be honest, Jeanette, I did not have number one. Uh, they just sent me number two to use, which is very kind of them. Right, put that there. Now, you can, if you want, colour the inside or use a different paper. You know, you can print both sides. Um, or use distress ink and then normally I'm just going to hold that there like so normally you would put this on top of there but I want to show you how to do a different type of bow so that's how this is created so you would put that on top of there and then you would wrap that round manage to cut a B off in the middle like that but what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half like so and we're going to cut it in the middle like that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bow like this so it's showing you that as well as a bow like that not a lot of people know so what I tend to do is this bit is going to go on there like that but I do this bit first I want my B in the middle like that, make sure it's in the middle where you want it. And then I put my glue on. Uh, I've got Kel says, hi everybody, happy new year. Uh, I'm going to have to watch and catch up, only just managed to sit down, no problem. Okay, let's put this on here. Fold it over. So, remember, normally, you can do bows like that. You stick that on top of there and wrap it over. That's how this was done. But by cutting it in half, and then what I'm doing, so this, everybody, is the faux bow die set. You can create two different types of bow. So I tend to put a little bit of glue. You can use anything you want. But then this goes like so. And it's a different type of bow it hangs down like that just wiggle it into place make sure it's even on both sides thank you everybody I'm glad you like it I did promise to do this little demo but how cool is that bow and obviously you've got two different sets so you've got four different ideas we haven't a lot of people tell me they didn't didn't know that you could split it in two so Edith have you had a go at doing a bow like this as well as like that so remember this is this bow set FB 2862 it's just come back into stock honestly everybody it is so fab to have uh, to give you that option and you can do it in two different sizes obviously at the moment I've got those two so that is the last one. Thank you, everybody. I'm glad that you like it. Obviously, that is using the fabulous um, collection from the, which one? Sunflower Delights. And that is using the gnomes. So this is using the, which one was that one? FB2863. And obviously, that, yes, Edna, everybody's putting loads of codes in. You can if you want to. Uh, Stephen says, I love the bow die. I already have it. It is great, isn't it? I get similar comments and they are some of the easiest to make as well. Oh, Michelle, thank you for that. Uh, I'm so glad that you enjoy using it. So SFB2863 is from the collection of the USB key. 
If you want it as a download, it's FB2864. And if you want it as a card making kit, don't forget it's 2864. Oh, Dawn says you could cut the smaller bow and add it and make a double one. <gasps> oh, Dawn. I'm going to have to do that and do that's a brilliant idea. Look, we've got loads more ideas. Did you all get that? So obviously these are two the same, but what Dawn is saying is die cut the smaller one and put it in the middle. That is brilliant. Uh, Edith Port, like you, Heber, I use all the Debbie Moo sets to make all my charity cards, and most in demand is Art Deco. Oh, thank you, Edith. Edith, have you had a go at doing a double bow? Marion says, that is a great way to do it for a bow. Thank you. You are welcome. Right, I'm going to put this to one side. I'm afraid we're coming to the end of the show. The last item we'll put back up, it was the Art Deco, which is FB2869. We'll just put that up for you to remind you, uh, which is a fabulous kit, everybody. FB2869 Art Deco. You know you are going to love it. Oh, look, there she is with the bow. You can see okay and i didn't finish it off by adding a bow at the bottom um yes jacqueline you can have the craft card bundle that was fb this was this one here that was the first item that we had which is fb 2860 30 cards and envelopes square cards and envelopes for only 5.99 that code is FB2860, everybody. Right. Uh, Mary says, was there a USB key for the sunflowers? Yes, Mary, there was. The USB key for the sunflowers, which is this one. Let's move this away. Um, that one is, where am I? It is FB2863. If you want that as a... Uh, download on not sorry as a usb key it's a brilliant one to have uh and Ida says i do the bows as you showed us how to do them on previous shows and yes i have done them in doubles oh edith i am glad right everybody so i'm afraid i'm coming to the end of the show i hope you've enjoyed it my voice has is still here a little bit there's loads of you on so thank you very much for joining me now next week is a special week okay because we have a craft along even if you can't make the craft along next thursday don't forget to watch on catch up i have done you a special card okay and we will be putting the post up on wednesday next week for you to download your free papers uh, and then on thursday you'll be able to uh, join in next thursday with the craft along or you can just watch the show we've got some new products that i'm really excited to show you um new products to show you and also we've got that special craft along i have got uh oh sally's put thank you for a lovely show even though you're not well i do want to order but need to check if i haven't already got anything i keep double ordering hope you get well soon sally don't worry and don't forget if anybody double orders you can actually ring the office you can swap it you can exchange it okay and the other thing to let you know all the products that i've mentioned will be on the website with the codes from tomorrow Oh, are they on now, Dave? Just checking. So apparently some of the items are already on, but all of them will be on from tomorrow. So don't worry about that, Sally. You can order them later. But don't go away, everybody, because I've got some presents for everybody. So don't forget the like and share. That is going to be picked over the course of the weekend. For anybody watching on Catch Up, I would like to pick some new flowers. If you'd like a match it, now remember a match it collection is a dying pad. If you'd like a new flower collection, and loads of you have put so many different things on, uh, and so many different things on of ideas, I'm going to choose, the winners are going to get a set, a free set of the match it flower that we're going to do. And so there's actually a couple that I'm going to be picking. So please remember to like and share this page. Uh, either on Facebook and YouTube, we will be picking them from both sections, okay, and putting the winners on the post next week, and I'll even mention it next week. I've got loads of messages which I'll catch up when I'm done. I can see, <laughs> thank you everybody. Um, but also, just to recap for anybody that's just new, if you want to order anything, put a code in. Um, it will be downloaded. If you're brand new to our system, please, please private message me your email address and your postal address. 
um, either via email or via Facebook. It's very easy. As I said to you before, it's our interactive demonstration. You can order, but you don't have to. I mean, I've just seen the message fly up. I think, uh, I think it was Sandra Cousins, bless you. You put that uh, great show again tonight, Debbie. So huge. Thank you for you and Dave. Haven't purchased anything as I have it all. <laughs> She's my take care, wishing you all the crafters a happy week. Take care. Oh, bless you. You know, I say this all the time. Enjoy the group. It's a crafting group that we meet up every Thursday, as long as my voice stays okay. Um, so if you order, don't forget that there will be an email sent out to you uh, over the weekend and Monday for the products that you've ordered. And especially the gnome stuff is limited. So please make sure as soon as you get it, that you click on it, do your payment. If you have any queries, let us know and we'll get you sorted out. Now you can pay by debit card, credit, debit card, credit card and PayPal. You can, our website is debbiemoredesigns.com. You can even give the office a ring on 07553 457 168 and email us at info at Debbie Moore Designs or private messages at Debbie Moore Designs. Now, the other thing to let you know that tomorrow the office is closed. Um, but we're back open on Monday. If you have any questions, let me know. And with regard to the tombola and prizes, we will be answering over the weekend. But remember, those prizes will not go out until the middle of the week. Not week, month even. Wow, my voice is just starting to be a bit croaky. Okay, I will answer questions, as I said, over the weekend. And oh, don't forget that I'm on TV on sewing street really exciting uh and we've only been doing oh my goodness it's six months now we've only been doing fabric for six months so uh i'm on air at nine o'clock and eleven o'clock and i'm also on hobby maker tv at two o'clock and five o'clock so don't forget to set a reminder and then i am going to finish oh i've got a new person linda Shilliam, hopefully I've said that right, Linda. She's put first time joining live. Loved it. Thank you, Debbie. Hope you feel better soon. Don't go away, Linda, because I'm giving everybody a present and you want this present because it's a special. We do this every Thursday. Um, uh, by the way, thank you for joining me and thank you for everybody else joining me. And this is a treasure hunt that we do every Thursday. And it's a little thank you present to say thank you for your continued support because I would not be here without you. So I really appreciate all your uh, continued support over the years. But this really started in lockdown. It was an idea my grandfather, for my grandfather, when I was in my teens, he used to do treasure hunts. So in lockdown, we thought, why not do a treasure hunt? And that's how it started. So we've been doing it now three and a half years or four years, wherever we are. Uh, and it's very easy to remember. All you need to do is remember today's date, which is the 4th of January. And also remember FB Sunflower 24. That is the discount code. Write that down. Make sure everybody's writing that down because that is going to give you a treasure that you are going to be able to download from after lunchtime tomorrow and you'll be able to craft with it. And there is only one little catch. Make something with it. Please make something with it. Make some, a card for charity. Make a card for a neighbor, a key worker. Just say thinking of you and pass on the love. Pass on the creativity. Now, all you need to do is nip over to Debbie Moore Designs. Even if you're the first time like Linda joining me tonight, you're all part automatically of my crafting world. So you need to nip over to Debbie Moore Designs, find the section that says products, then go to printable downloads and go into the members section because you're all part of my crafting family. Then hunt out the kit that has today's date, which is the 4th of January. Don't look now because it won't be there. It won't be there till tomorrow at lunchtime. Pop it into your basket. Go when you go to the basket because it will have a price on. Only people watching on YouTube and people watching on Facebook can actually get this. Fine. You put the on the left hand side. It says, do you have a discount code? Put FB Sunflower 24 in and it'll go free. Enjoy it. Have a lovely crafting weekend with it and have lots of fun with it. So that's a little thank you present. And thank you for all your messages. I will catch up on them all and also on YouTube because I'm running out of time. I'm going to sign off now because we are going back to the UK because we're in France at the moment. We're going back to the UK tomorrow bright and early because I am going to be on Hobby Make and Sewing Street TV at the weekend. So for now, I'm going to say lots of love. God bless you all. Happy crafting. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to join me either on Hobby Make or Sewing Street TV 
on、uh, Sunday.、Uh, or join me next Thursday for our craft along here on YouTube and Facebook with some more craftiness with Debbie Moore Designs. Bye bye for now. God bless.